Hi Scrappy friends, welcome back to another layout for 12 Days of Christmas. Um, I've also forgetting that wood grain and winter was for Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Threw in a bit of wood grain on this as well. This is my project for the Hey Little Magpie creative team. Sorry, it's Helen Ding for, for those watching you, this on the Hey Little Magpie channel. I'm going to be scrapping this photo of my mum using Vicky Putin's peppermint kisses. There may be a few times during this where I do cut to music because you can tell my voice isn't brilliant. Um, so starting with my wax seal, I do decide I'm going to stitch on the wax seal. I have left in all my failures. <laughs> or, or They're not failures, they're just I wasn't entirely happy with how the finished look was. Um, just using some beads there to coordinate with my mum's tinsel. Uh, do start off with from head in the clouds the white and the clear glitter. Uh, now I'm just poking some hole, holes. So if you do this when the wax is still warm, it will go through easier. Um, I am uh, stitching spokes here, so I'm going like centre to north and then south and east west, and and doing spokes out from the middle. So this is where I first went wrong. Um, I've done from outside to the middle for the spokes, which for the next part of this stitch, you have to come back up through the middle. So if you are going to do this stitch, you start, you do each stitch going, each spoke going out from the middle and in at the end of the spoke and then back up and, and do it around like that. You're then going to bring your needle back up through the middle and go under and over each spoke all the way around. The reason you want, um, sorry, I did an even number of spokes, which is the other part of this where I went wrong. It needs to be an odd number so that when you're going under and over, under and over, each way round the wheel, uh, it's a different one as you're going round. I hope that makes sense. You want to go under, over, under, over, under, over, and then over, under, under, over, under, over, under. And you don't want to have to do two next to each other where it's the same. Um, so I'm starting again. Um, I don't get my poke in the middle, right in the middle on this second attempt. And also we're trying to do an odd number. I do end up with them not evenly spaced. So you'll see that in a moment. Um, so I do this time go right. I go up from the middle and then in at the end of the spoke and then back up from the middle and in to the end of the next spoke. And I do all spokes going round like that. So I'm going to watch you all, make you watch all of them. So after I've gone up and over uh, or up and down through for each of the spokes, I've then come back up through the middle and I'm going under, over, around the spokes. So it's circular and then you see there. Um, it's kind of like a, a flower in the middle. I decided I didn't want it to go all the way out to the edge. So I did another seal with the with the intention of doing the holes closer to the middle. only forgot. So I've now got a row of holes around the middle and a row of holes closer to the centre. A uh, row of holes around the outside, sorry, and a row of holes closer to the centre. I did five spokes on this one. So an odd number again. So up from the middle, out to the end of my spoke. And then when I've done all five spokes, I've come back up through the middle and then I'm going, just going round and round in a circle, under, over, under, over. And then when I've got to the very end, I've gone th back down through my next one, which would have been an under or over, I can't remember. And then I've just tied it off on the back. So that then gave me that kind of flower in the middle. But I'd had these holes that are punched along the outside that I needed to now do something with. So I've decided to do this stitch around where I'm coming up through the back and then going back over the edge and back up through the back again. And I just go all the way around doing that. I kind of like this bit like a candy cane stripe. Um, once I've gone all the way around and then push it back up through the back and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, how do I finish this? So I decide to go back the other way and kind of have it so the little crosses along the front, uh, which you'll see me do now. I slowed it down for this bit. 
um, and then so when I've gone all the way around back around where it's got the little crosses over the front with the very last one I do then tie it off at the back so that it's kind of tied off on the the last stitch where I would have gone up again to have done another one um oh gosh I hope that makes sense I'm not making much sense to myself at the minute so I'm really sorry if I'm losing you okay so that's what it looked like so before I started the layout I then decided you know what I really like that around the outside so I did another one where I've just done around the outside and that's the one I'm going to use on the layout so here we are back doing the layout now so we've got this picture of my mum next to her Christmas tree this is Christmas 2014 and um, this is the last Christmas mum spent with us the next Christmas she was in hospital and then um, we she'd passed away before the Christmas after that so 2014 we've done this fancy dress Christmas our mum was uh, Mrs Claus, so we just have this photo of her next to her tree. There is a relative somewhere who has the photo of her face in them. Uh, I haven't tracked down which member of the family that is yet. I've got two people left to ask. Um, so punching the middle out of this die cut embellishment because it's one inch and it fits in the middle of the wax seal. So I'm going to use some wet glue to stick that down into the wax seal. Uh, and then that's going to go back over the embellishment I've took it out of. I'm going to switch some music for a bit because my voice is going. <laughs> about the bell um i had to have a bell ornament on this because my mum always had these bells on her trees and um in a couple of years before we lost her she'd split all these bells that she had and gave us all a few each so i have these bells on on my tree every year um they're at the it's a little green one at the bottom you can see in the photo there and it's lots of different colored ones that that, are that kind of style of bell and I just love it um so yeah that's that's I just wanted to explain that um, I'm gonna pop off again now. for a bit because it was getting too warm so we um this fish all stuck down i've added because you know i don't like naked holes on tags and things so i've had added these stickers here to cover the holes on the um ornaments i've then used these from the puffy stickers to um put these cover these holes i've used puffy sticker star ornament there and a nutcracker here um couple of stars i was going to put more stars over here but i've actually got none of the stars left um so that's it that's all done mummy christmas please like subscribe and go check out the playlist thanks for watching bye